Am I live? Okay, I'm live. Hello and good evening. It's a beautiful, windy Wednesday here in Ontario, if you are in Ontario. Um, thank you guys so much for coming on. This is my second live stream. Uh, today, we're going to talk about a few things. I do have some amazing guests with me today. Um, you'll probably know them from Instagram. Uh, but yeah, some amazing guests. Well, you saw one of them last week, but uh, we might have some other guests popping by. We don't know. But again, thank you all so much for coming and saying hello to me today. Um, but I want to give you guys a quick rundown of what's going to happen today. So we're going to open some toys. I have a lot of toys that I need to open. So uh, we're going to do that. We're going to talk about the recent... I was going to say Marvel Legends, but it's not Marvel Legends. Um... I know I do need a countdown and intro. Like, I thought I did, but, like, I don't know. It's, lighting is a lot better. Yeah, I try to set things up a little bit better. Um, but rundown of what's happening today. We're going to talk about the Star Wars Black Series um, has lab. I was going to say something rude, but then I said, no, Troy, don't say anything rude. Um, we're going to talk about the has lab. We're going to do a segment that a lot of people have been loving so far. Uh, that's with one of my guests. And then we're going to talk about the Spider-Man trailer, open up some toys. But I do want to say hello to a lot of people. Like, you guys are my bread and butter, the community that helps me. I got Darth Gutierrez here, my man. Bearded Builds is right over here. Yes, it's me, Troy. My IRL friend, Jake. Uh, I'll see you, not tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. I'll stop by the store tomorrow. But I'll definitely see you Friday. We got Toy Rensu, who was a little too soon. And yeah, so did I forget anyone? Uh, let people trickle in, say hello, we'll talk. But my first guest is here to talk about the Star Wars Black Series has lab um, that's been going on. He is a huge staple in my community because I rely on him a lot. So he's awesome. He is Great White North Empire. Hello, everyone. Hey, Troy. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, welcome. I, I don't think we've ever kind of like done a stream or anything together. We've been in the chat, but not really yeah. <laughs> on camera. But I'm so happy f to have you here because honestly, we've talked a lot throughout the last couple weeks mm -hmm. about some things that have been happening in the in the community and you know we've we've kept our thoughts basically to ourselves in our chat but today let's let's talk about it because we have some uh things that were revealed today or no last week yesterday no a couple days ago a couple days so tuesday tuesday tuesday, tuesday. honestly tuesday. listen guys my <laughs> I, I rushed here to get to the stream. I was driving 140 down the highway to get here at 930. So thank you guys for bearing with me. Um, yeah, so, oh, it looks like we have another person who joined in. Hello, Loki, Loki. Hello. Um, but yeah, honestly, also, I have this figure here with me, Mr. Crosshairs. You were so nice to pick this up for me and um, help me with it because I was looking for this all over the place. So happy I have him. Um, he's been kind of just sitting on my shelf, just in, <laughs> he's been actually standing on my shelf, which is actually a rarity for my Star Wars. Uh, yeah. I'm loving your Star Wars display behind you. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Minor, you have some pretty amazing things going on there so i see some carbonized stuff i saw see some carded stuff that is amazing oh look who's here also my main my main guy kevin came, kevin california kevin that's what we're gonna call him now so uh but he might join us maybe who knows he might be a little too tired but you know there is no oh i dropped his little backpack Listen, guys, I love my guests. You guys can come in and out. I love it. But 
but while we're here, let's discuss what's been happening. The HasLab Rancor. Oh. <laughs> um, There's a little size. Been, yeah. Um, it's been uh, rough. It's been pretty rough for them, for the HasLab. Um, well, if we heard about the reveals on Monday, they revealed the second tier of the Rancor. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's just say a lot of collectors were not impressed. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, I was really thinking that they were going to do something um, more, to be honest. I was hoping for like an Ula figure or the guy who's like his, the, the Rancor's keeper, I forget his name. But they revealed i don't know if I, I can't really show it off here because i i'm, I'm still new with this whole streaming <laughs> stuff so if you guys want to find out google it or go on the foosh or something um they revealed what a cardboard cutout yeah cardboard cutout and, and skulls six skulls and and a bone and a bone and a bone and some oh. mud <laughs> i don't know yeah. what it was i listen <sighs> star wars you're killing me because I feel like we all kind of were let down with Star Wars at Disney Plus Day last week. Mm -hmm. I certainly was. I think everyone who's a Marvel fan ate really good. Yeah, all did. Oh, we, we, we did. We did. <laughs> we, we ate so good that day. <laughs> but for Star Wars fans, it's kind of like a kick in the in shins because I feel like we're... You guys are just one hit after the other. And that's kind of, um, yeah, I feel bad. I feel really bad for you guys. Um, I mean, this is the million dollar question here. Have you backed the Rancor? Me, personally? No, I have not backed the Rancor. No? It's, it's not, it, I, it's the point is, is that I would... But I'm not a big fan of creatures. Oh, okay. So I, okay. If it, like, my personally, if it, in my opinion, the HasLab, mm -hmm. if it was a Clone Wars Republic gunship, then we'd be talking. Okay, then, yeah. <laughs> then we'd be talking. Okay, so here we go. That's a great idea for HasLab, a Republic gunship. That would have my money instantly. The Rancor, I know it's, like... It's nostalgia and all that, mm -hmm. but really, I don't know where to display it, kind of. I think you're right. I would have liked the Republic ship, but at the end of the day, okay, I might like lose myself again. So remember <laughs> last week, I just kept on like exiting because my mouse, yeah, my mouse sucks. Um, I would have liked that 100%. Um, I don't know. I feel like the whole rancor kind of just it makes me sad but honestly for it do you think it's going to get backed i think it's going to get backed you think it's going to get back it's always like, like what we saw with um galactus is a good example mm -hmm. it was it was going up and up and then it hit like a slow part yeah and then it kind of just by the ending they should reveal the tears the next couple oh. of tears and it it shot right back up do you think that the next two tiers will help with the rancor because you you even messaged me about this you said that they lost backers because of this they lost a hundred a hundred and nine backers since monday but they got it back up i up, okay I checked it again and it got back up again where they were but okay so that's not that that's not really good but not really bad either uh, um, do you think that they'll hit the stretch goals at least? Um, I think because I was looking on Instagram. I don't know if everybody in the chat would know Mr. Steve. Okay. He used to be he used to be part of the Black Series, and then he transferred over to Marvel, okay. and he does like all of that retro stuff. So there was um, a story um, on a story. Let me see if I can pull it up on my phone yeah and it said this was his thing that he said i have a set of keys see you on friday 
that was something that he posted on his story. What, is, what does that mean? So I was thinking it was a set of keys would be somebody like a caretaker. So okay, a sign that the raincore keeper. Okay, would be, be a sign. Do you not think so? That that's a cool guy to have a hundred percent. I mean, we've seen him in the three and three fourths yeah. before. Um, he was a peg warmer <laughs> for sure. Yeah. I remember going to my Walmart's and just seeing pegs of him. Um, let me take a sip of water. I'm just going to mute for a second. No. So do you think, so, okay, let's say they, they did the keeper. What if Ula was there? What would happen if Ula was a stretch goal? Would you back it? Mm. It's hard to say. It's like, like I said before, it's like, I'm not into creatures and Raycor. I get the Raycor is something in Return of the Jedi, and it's a big, big thing in Return of the Jedi for the beginning. But for me, it's not my cup of tea for the Raycor. But yeah. if 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 they get if they get the Raycor Keeper and Ula, I think it's backed, and I think they'll get the stretch goals in a matter in a heartbeat. Okay, so we're not all lost in a galaxy far far away hopefully <laughs> no okay awesome okay yeah, that's no. all i wanted to know like because like i don't know like galactus was for me i was i was always gonna get galactus and what was the first stretch goal uh frankie ray uh, nova frankie ray silver surfer cor karg korg korg i don't know some guy with the axe <laughs> and then the doom head so those were the four yeah. So yeah, I mean, I mean that was okay, I guess. Um, I'm happy. I'm happy with Galactus, but yeah, I don't know. I, I honestly, I just feel like there's just so much stuff happening with like everything. There's how many Haslabs are have been there? Have there been in the last like three months? I think there's been six. 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 Six uh, has Star labs. Wars, Star Wars, Marvel, G.I. Joe, uh, Ghostbusters. Um, there's one more. Somebody has the... Transformers? Had, Victory Story? Transformers, yep. Trans, I think Transformers had one. Yeah. And then I think there's one more. Wasn't but, there a Heroes Quest, too? Uh, I think that was... Was that last year's mm, has I don't for remember. Them? I remember I seen things on Instagram on Hasbro Pulse. They were saying like they were starting to get like the package mm -hmm. and everything was going to start shipping out. I'm not too sure. I don't think Heroes was Avalon Hill. I don't know. I I, I don't remember. But there's a lot of Haslabs going on right yeah. now. Yeah. Like if you are a collector, like, and you have money, sure, this is great. But like for me, like, I'm a, I don't have that kind of money to to drop for Star Wars and Marvel. So for me, like, I know your bread and butter is Star Wars Black Series, right? Yeah, yes, it is. Mine is Marvel Legends. Like, if we get Marvel Legends stuff, hundred percent, I'm gonna back it. Star Wars, I don't know. Like Marvel, Marvel already took my money, so that's <laughs> so that's all I can say. But I don't know. I just feel like I don't know. I I, I think I wish they would have waited for the Rancor. I I probably. They probably had reasons why they didn't wait, but I wish. I think, yeah, I think go ahead. There's one. Um, I know in two years there should be the 40th anniversary, so of the Return of the Jedi. Mm -hmm. So maybe they're kind of just pushing that out, getting people ready, and all that. Because mm -hmm. 2022, you they did it last last year. Uh, I think it was Empire. They started bringing out the 40th anniversary stuff. Yeah. So this is kind of a good good thing by 2022. To get people psyched for Return of the Jedi, the 40th anniversary. So yeah, but I don't know. Oh, I'm also opening these while we're talking. <laughs> um, they're the golden. Yeah, I got they're the golden um, mini brands. So I found this at Toys R Us. Me, and my friend Jake, who's in the chat, I think, were at Toys R Us, and I was like, yeah, I need to buy these things. And that's when I found uh, the. The Rogue One stuff, which is behind me in a pile somewhere. So, you guys, I still have my 
my PulseCon box. Haven't really opened it. Haven't really touched it. Oh, hello, Yoko. So, Yoko, I heard you have stuff for me. You sent the Kevin with a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> yeah, I found uh, these things. I don't know, like, I don't know if I want to open these or like return them yet. But I found uh, what's his name, Baze Malbez, and I found Jin, and then I found Mister Chirit Enway. So. So I found well, these. They look, they look great. They do look opinion. good. Face sculpt, everything on it is just. If you haven't got the Rogue One, this is the perfect set for you. I um. I think when me and Kevin were at a toy show, I sold them. I don't know, <laughs> but I don't know if I'm opening these just yet. I'm just gonna hold on to them. Uh, EB Games should be getting their shipment, and I kind of want to just get my 15% discount because I'm an Onyx member. Because I spent twelve thousand dollars last year. <laughs> yeah, don't guys, that's horrible. <laughs> and what did Yoko say? She says, "Oh, I think you have to lower your expectations." Ugh. <laughs> but I like gifts. It's just a little something. Well, honestly, I appreciate it. I just appreciate you being here. Um, thank you, Yoko. You're amazing. So yeah, open your mini brands. I want to see what you get because I'm gonna be super jealous if you get Reese's Pieces, because I've been really wanting to get Reese's Pieces. So, if you guys don't know, mini brands are, like, if you guys have kids or like, you know, just something you want to get for kids, like a stocking stuffer for these this year, get the mini brands. Series 3 is a new series. You can buy them at um, EB Games. So, this is something that's super cool. Um, where did you get yours? I got mine at Toys R Us. Toys R Us. Okay, so they have them at Toys R Us. Uh, I think I bought the gold ones at Toys R Us. So, honestly, an awesome stocking stuffer. Um, you know how I'm a Hasbro purist, guys. Like, legitimately a Hasbro purist. Uh, but these are super cool to, like, have with your Hasbro figures. Uh, Darth Gutierrez, it's my favorite Star Wars movie, too. So, no shame there. I think Rogue One was one of my favorite movies i think it's super good kevin you are right top five top five yeah. films how where do you rank uh rogue one with for you um it's in my top fives too it was it, it's not a bad movie it's it a is solid, a really bad movie no. it's a it's a solid movie and it's a everything solid, yeah. about, everything about the movie is just like the, the ending scene of uh, rogue one with darth vader Oh, so good. So good. Oh, my God. So you could use these with your figures. As you can see, Cyber has um, some Baker's stuff here. I don't know what it is. I think this is kind of cool to have. Honestly, it's funny because it's it's just a piece of plot of cardboard that I'm just going crazy over. <laughs> but it, there it is. So, what else are we saying here? What else, chat? Chat. What else? Talk to me. Talk to me today. How is? How was your day? How was? What are you guys opening? What are you guys looking forward to? Star Wars trailer. We're gonna be talking about it. We have an, an amazing guest. Action Figgy is gonna be here later on to discuss it. He's gonna be here around ten, and he wants to discuss the new Star Wars. Plus, he's gonna be here for my segment that we we've, we've coined. Uh, I'm going to show you the banner really quickly because, you know, oh no, do I, can I do this? Okay, here. Ready? Guys, ready? Can Troy pose toys? <laughs> yes! Yes! So that's we my go. new segment. Can Troy pose toys? Probably not, but that's going to be the segment with later on. Um, I literally did that in two minutes today, trying to get me ready. Okay, so you, you opened? Yep, Kevin, I got get? a guacamole. You got guacamole. guacamole. Okay, that's a, that's cool. Uh, it's in the second one. What is it? I cannot do it. Craft Ranch. Oh, I got ranch. I gave it to someone at work. I had one of my. <laughs> 
I had it. I was opening it at lunch, and some girl was like, "Oh, what did you get?" And I was like, "Oh, I got ranch." And she's like, "Oh my god, that's what I wanted!" So I literally gave it to her because I have a double somewhere here. But uh, let's see what the third one is. The third one. Cream Classico Creamy Alfredo. <laughs> you got Alfredo. So what are you going to do with these mini brands? Um, well, I was going to open a figure. but oh, Yeah, honestly, open figures too. Let's open figures too because I have so many figures. Okay, I'm going to open today, in honor of you, Aura Singh. Mm -hmm. She's one of the Black Series figures that I've been kind of holding on to. I have my Miss Tigra Tigra figure that I got at Toys R Us in honor of the new movie. I w yes, I did go out and buy an MCU figure. Um, so I bought Doctor Strange, and then Miles Morales, my one of my favorite figures of the year. Um, so I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. um, oh shoot, I forgot my question. Oh god, I forgot my question. I'll, I'll get back to it. But yeah. Doctor did yes, Doctor Strange looks amazing. Um, okay, so actually, what got you into collecting? Because like you know, you're into black series, like what was the thing that was like, damn, let's get into this? Um the thing is with me was well, I used to collect the 3.75 mm -hmm. figures. So first off, it all started with the Phantom Menace. That's mm -hmm. when I started collecting was when the Phantom Menace figure. So it was like Qui-Gon, Obi-Wan, Darth Maul, all of them. They're still somewhere. I think I found my Qui-Gon. He was in the, the shit. Oh, a shed? <laughs> That's right. He, yeah. I did some cleanup and I found some old action, uh, old uh, 3.75. Mm -hmm. There was like Revenge of the Sith, Attack of the Clothes, and all that. But... To go really deep, when I really started collecting was probably when the Clone Wars animated series. That's when I really got very serious in collecting Star Wars. Okay. So I got, uh, was Anakin, Obi-Wan, the Ahsoka, Captain Rex, you know, the first wave mm -hmm. and all that. And then after that, I kind of took a break and then a little small little break. And then the Black series came around mm -hmm. and I was just like... Man, I could I could really these black series figures look good. What like, was your first I, black series? Um, my first black series was uh was the Force Awakens Kylo Ren. Really? Yeah, that was my first. So it was back in 2015. I think that's what it was. 2015, Damn. the red and black boxes. So mm. my first black series was Luke and Boba Fett Ooh. from the first wave. Those were my two, like, pickups. I remember going to, it was, I think it was around um, Captain America Winter Soldier, and I was hunting Black Widow, and that's when I found the Black Series, and I was like, oh my god. Like, that's when I was like, let's go. And, yeah, but I don't know, for me, uh, this year has kind of been, like, really disappointing with Black Series. I don't know if you felt this disappointment um it was kind of like it was up and down and all that i know a lot mm. of people, a lot of things where the repaints were a big big factor this year like yeah. a lot of big repaints and you're just like oh my god and like like i like the credit collection like i have the new one i think it's right here is yeah. the the mando that was the only set i got well i got the other one it was the first wave of credit collection it was the the original it was the colorful one I think it's right here. Mm -hmm. it's this way right here. yeah so uh, first that season was that. yeah first season and then i said to myself if they came out with the best scar version mm -hmm. that would probably be my last one and i'm with you're done i'm done with that that i i don't i think the credit collection is kind of just to my opinion it's like a money grab in my opinion, that's the one it is. <laughs> I mean, do I disagree with you? Absolutely not, because I do agree. Um, I do agree that the credit collection, to be honest, yeah, very, very much a, I don't want to say money grab, but yeah, you're right. I personally just, 
when I first saw it, I was like, yeah, I don't want this. Like, this is not like the first, not... the, the first wave was, was exciting. It was the first wave and it was like, Oh, it's pretty, look at the band. Oh, he's different colors. And it's just like, yeah, yeah, that's just okay. But then when they started getting to the second wave is like, did we really need the credit collection another time? I don't think we did. <laughs> to be I, honest. I think I believe we're getting a third, another wave of it. Oh, hundred percent. I think we're going to get a credit collection with the book of Boba Fett's. I think I think mine was going to be another Mandalorian wave. I you think, think Bo Katan so? was going to be a credit. Soka. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Soka. Uh, could they do. Maybe they'll Cinera do. Which one? Incineration tro uh, the Incinerator Trooper. Oh, they could do that. They could definitely do like Miss Cosca Reeves. Yeah. They could do a lot, but uh i don't know dude i would not i'm not in it for the credit collection i don't think i bought one uh but i didn't post this today because i saw you post them oh no i dropped i dropped that Costco reeves helmet in and after but i saw you posted the ahsoka and mando that's death watch, watch? Mandalore. Yeah, yeah death watch okay what? How do they just like randomly post these? And it was just like, yeah, here you go. What? I don't get it. I don't know. I, I saw it. I think it was Galactus Figures that yeah. posted it first. And I'm like, why so late? Like, it was revealed, I think, last week. Or yeah. was it this week? No, it was last week. It was last week. Like, and, I, I, and I'm like, the thing is, I, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't know. It's, the thing is with the Bring Home the Bounty Tuesday. Oh, God. Are you a big fan of that one? The big Bring Home the Bounty Tuesday? No, I'm not. I think I, it's I, just... I... Go on. Go oh, I just think it's a... It's just... I don't know. Because the reason why I'm so upset with Bring Home the Bounty is that they could have put this in PulseCon. Like, I understand it's a... It's a real reveal every week before uh, the Book of Boba Fett, blah, 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 blah. Listen, the Book of Boba Fett doesn't need any hype. It has too much hype. You know what would have been the hype if they showed everything at PulseCon? And that's all that's all it is. And you know, I'm not a fan of it. I don't follow it. I see what you post and I go, okay, I'll check Bring Home the Bounty. And that's all I do. Yeah. I think it's a cool initiative, but I don't think it's necessary. And I hate to say that. I, I, I love Hasbro. I'm a Hasbro mm. purist. <laughs> except when it comes to these. But I don't know. I got something here. I got cream of tartar. Whatever cream of tartar is. Anyone in chat know what cream of tartar is? Toy Rentsu actually has a question for you. What do you guys think of the plastic over the knees on the new Boba Fett and Ahsoka? Um, what do you think? Country time? Which, uh... Boba we talking about so the not the new well the new one so it's like the Tylon Boba Fett oh the Tylon yeah something like that but um oh Elman Breeze it it I I in my opinion I, I as I look at the knees of the Boba Fett and I'm looking at it, it kind of almost looks like um Darth Maul's it does right and They're I'm looking little... at it up I'm looking at it like, is it just a reuse of Darth Maul? Maybe. But, uh, oh. <laughs> I think Troy hit the back button again. But, the Soka, the knees. Um. <laughs> Guys, I did it again. I hate this mouse. I hate this mouse so much. Ugh. I keep on getting... I'm sorry. You entertained them for a bit. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's Chat. Cool. Thank you for bearing with me. I keep... Because I'm playing with toys here, and my finger... See this? This finger hits this. So, But yeah. Um, I don't know. Will it hinder articulation? Probably. But honestly, Ahsoka looks gorgeous, and I'm excited <laughs> for that Ahsoka figure. Okay. While we have you here, my friend, there's a third person going to be joining us. Because he's amazing. So everyone give a big, big welcome to my friend, whom I still need to ship his figure. I'm super sorry. It's here. 
Oh, I'm shipping it. There's a shipping box ready. It's my friend, Action Figgy Skinny. <laughs> How you doing, guys? Hello. What's going on? What's up? What's up? What's up? How's this is coming on? to you. I swear to God. I oh, don't worry about it. I'm 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 not in a you know rush. Uh, I, I appreciate you for getting that. So bad, so oh. bad. Because like I feel like you, you know you deserve your toys as soon as possible. So like you already paid everything. I gotta ship it. Like I, I, I don't think I'm lacking. I, I think I'm okay. Okay, so, uh... <laughs> but I thought I saw that you might have have you might have one already. I have a Silver Ranger, yes. Except for that is my second one. The Silver Ranger that I had that was going to be my second one went to a certain toy reviewer that we know, and I want to help him out. So I was just like, here, let me grab this one. But let me secure <laughs> that I can get one from Troy first because you know you don't want to do that, and then next you know you're looking for it, and yeah, so yeah. And do we know who this toy reviewer is? We do, we do. A uh, certain, uh, a certain uh, amazing uh, D uh of, of oh, sorts so gotcha so I, I i i couldn't have a man like that who's into sentai i couldn't not have him have his sentai so i was just like well <laughs> if you're gonna put out an apb over twitter sir i got you and this hey. is what i did and i'm happy that i helped you with this um honestly it actually worked out so i'm gonna give you a little story of what happened so i was at the gym on sunday working out with mm -hmm. a friend and it was at the Bolton. I don't know if you guys know. Well, maybe you know Great White North. You probably know where Bolton is. But my gym is like maybe 20 minutes south of Bolton. So I sped up the, the, the road, went there, got it for you. And I was like, damn, I guess I'm going to check that Walmart. This Walmart had like, it was, it was, I don't know. This Walmart is like a hidden gem right. of, a, of a, a, a Walmart. There was so much stuff there. And usually I take pictures and stuff, but I left my phone in the car and I was like, I don't want to go in the car again. But they had the new, they had the famous Aura Sing on the way, on the peg. Ooh, okay. They had Lando, which I didn't pick up. And they had some other, they had some Marvel Legends, but they were stocked. And I was like, damn, this is great. Um, we have Toying Around saying he needs to ship something to you as well. Yes, 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 uh, yes. <laughs> that is a uh, certain Cogs two pack. Don't don't worry. There are things coming in. I always have things coming in because that is the basis <laughs> of my existence. If I don't, then there's nothing. So it's yes. so funny that you talk about Cogs because I'm sitting. So I'm at work today, and I'm like organizing the, the, this the rack that we need to do for Black Friday, and I'm like, okay, da 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 da. And I'm looking. I look up, and I'm like, wait, is that the Cogs two pack? So I literally like go. I'm like, where is this Cogs two pack? doing here i was like why hasn't this sold yep and i'm like what is happening and i was like maybe i'll pick this up friday so people don't know that it's there back. that's probably why i mean i know no one does but it's literally like there like it's faced out i was just like cleaning something but <laughs> yeah anyways so guys so tell me what figure should i open up first because i'm like itching to open up Tigra, Figures. I'm all for Tigra. I haven't gotten her yet, so I'm really pushing Tigra. I'm You're push Tigra. Tigra. Yeah, we can go Tigra. Yeah, let's go okay. Tigra. I'm gonna open Tigra. <laughs> I didn't, Jake. I didn't. This, this guy over here. I did not hide it on purpose. I just saw it today. <laughs> I would really appreciate that. Anyways, don't worry about it. Okay, so you know me and packages. This Tigra is in a beautiful package over here, but. Yeah, but that's why you get two, right? Like, so well, that you, I do. That's always do. It's funny <laughs> I have like six of these pre-ordered at 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 EB Games. Okay. Or GameStop. Okay. So, oh, where is it? Oh no, where did I put it? Oh no. Okay. <sighs> no, where did I put it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my room is like a disaster. Disney. So I had like this like. So I, I oh, is, is it here? No, it's not here. So I have this like really cool container that I've been putting. If I lost it, I'd be super pissed. But it's been with, with it has like all my loose like hands, heads, and everything. So it looks like this. Oh, okay. Mm. So this is what I've been doing with all my loose figures. Right. Not my loose figures, but like figures that like need stuff. Like, like, because you know, I have a tendency of just putting it in a bin, 
this I think Kevin told me this upset him. <laughs> but oh. oh it's just like, is that just loose? Everything <laughs> is just loose in here. No, nah, that's madness. What is but, that? Oh. That's insane. Yeah. You know. I <laughs> I have yeah. like little plastic bags, but not plastic bags, but like they're kind of like ziplocs but airtight. Mm-hmm. And I have them sectioned off by like the wave and if they're x-men or not or spider-man characters and like i can't that's that no oh. no <laughs> no N- at, mm-mm. Mm-mm. my ocd oh, cannot oh my take God. that that's crazy so this is what no. i do with like with everything he's like how do you okay but like if you're like all right i need plain fisted hands like how many of those are shang chis how many of those are just like i don't know hercules's fists i don't and then you know. have like exactly you don't know I don't know what's with what goes with what, who goes with <laughs> what. It's just, it's just it here. There. He, honestly, do you know what sucks? When I need to sell figures, yeah, I have to dig through this. Oh, God. and I have to match <laughs> what figure came with what. Look, look, you guys can look at all this stuff, and you can like probably like figure out. Oh, well, that's that. That's this. This is that. That's that. But like, look, there's so much in there's here. So much, I know. That's why I'm trying to be more organized. Hold on, I'll give you an example of this, what I'm rocking with. So this is this fun being organized now. Uh, yeah, that looks organized now. <laughs> I, am I just not a good toy collector? Am I just not? I don't oh. know. The Imperial crosshairs fell into the the abyss. Oh god! Oh. It'll be okay. forever lost. I know. Inbox collector, but I've been opening some, and it feels great. Of course, it feels great to open figures. Tigra, hella Tigra. <laughs> Bearded Bills needs to go to his toy room. <laughs> Fly Zona. I'm sorry. You know, you, you can zip lock them by figure. Okay, Jake. You know what? We're, I'm, yeah. Boom. See this? That's what I'm working with. That's just X Men, right? And then here is the Iron Man wave. Nicely put oh, in so there. That's one wave. <laughs> yeah, these will, this will be like multiple waves. Like I think this is like the new X Men wave, and you see more McTaggart's arms in there and such. Yeah, and like, yeah, it's just a bunch of X Men stuff. Anything that can that's small enough that can fit in, I just put it in there. Okay, so I got to do better as a toy collector. And I'm you get these bags when you buy those like flight stands for like sixteen bucks on Amazon. They come okay. in these. You build them, and then you have this afterwards. You put, put them your... in there. Okay, yeah. gotta do that now, guys. Because that bin madness, I mean, if that knocks over and, like, one side of that's open and it goes on your floor, forget it. Yeah, I lost, like, a whole bunch of figures and yeah. accessories. Okay, so Tiger's head does not fit into this, so I'll just put our thingies in here. Um, okay, so I've been looking forward to this figure like crazy. Um, <laughs> I'm that super looks super excited. nice. She looks super stunning. Like, Honestly, this head is gonna be the pertinent head that stays on this figure. Yeah. Because just look at that. Look at that. That's it, super nice. Super stunning. Um. Oh my god, no! I need to heat these feet up. Yeah, that's the danger. I yeah, that hot water. I just keep a glass of hot water by my oh desk. And just dunk them in. Yeah. So that foot is. Oh god, I need to keep that there. Okay. Ugh. So I guess. We're not going to be able to uh, do some action poses with this one. Maybe a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely. You could do this with her. Okay. You know, well, that's your pose of the week. Just a simple... Okay. Hold on. We got <laughs> something. I don't know if you saw. <laughs> I heard, but I didn't see it because I was setting up. So, <laughs> <laughs> Guys, welcome to the segment, Can Troy uh... Pose Toys? This is the segment where I have a guest tell me to... Do whatever with a figure and try to pose it. And this is where we're gonna do it. Uh it's very basic. I'll, I'll turn it to wait toward towards the camera so that he can see. Yeah. All right. So it's just a it's like a like, yeah, just an action pose, you know. If Kev is still in there, he can, you know, provide some insight on this or at least kind of like try to coach you because I'm not <laughs> he did the coaching last time. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna show you a uh it's a yeah pose. Yeah, there you go. All right. <sighs> Did there I, you go. Okay, but you I even got like her legs, yeah. but you have her legs better than mine, so I could just you know mash that up and try to like. Uh, no, but I feel no, like no. I kind of, I kind of cheated because she's pretty easy. That, I she's, mean, 
she's pretty easy. <laughs> I'm helping you, all right? If I, right, let me, let me <laughs> get something harder then. Uh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Wolverine? I have Wolverine. Okay. Right here. All right. Okay, so, like, okay, hold on. So I put him like that. Okay. This is what I call the best at what I do pose. Uh, and just, like, kind of, sl- kind of, kind of crunched over. Arms a little too wide. Yeah, I just got to get him. Yeah, maybe. I don't know if you can see the legs. I had him, like, like slightly bent. Okay, oh. legs are slightly bent. Slightly bent, like he's walking towards you, but not. This might be a little too advanced. I don't know. For those who, <laughs> those who are out there posing their figs, guys, you know, this might be a little bit too. Hey, hey, hey there you go. Okay, yeah, there you okay. go. Is it? Is it? Yeah. Ah, an art. So Troy, <laughs> so Troy can pull his toys. Last week with the Iron Man, not so much. This week, Tiger Wolverine. This doing is all right. So Ryan Ting, I don't know if he's in the chat, probably not, but I've left it like this because he's like, that head needs to be on it like that. And that's how I left Iron Man. <laughs> and Ryan let you know. He looks like this is how it should be. Yes. Okay. He's like, no, no, this is how the figure is meant to be. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna stay like that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so awesome. There so today, Troy did pose toys. He did pose, <laughs> he, he could he could he pose did. toys, yes. He, he did. did. Posing yeah. isn't easy. No, 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 it isn't. No, it's not. Thank it goodness not. for that. Okay. Well, I'm happy about that. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. Show about me this. more of this tiger. Yeah, show me this tiger. Yeah. Some more of the, oh. Super. I love the tail. It's articulated. Does the tail come up? Ooh, tail comes off. Oh, tail comes off. Tail comes off. Like Her booty. Ponytail. In, in nice. Booty. Okay. Oh, nope. You broke okay. it. Troy doesn't know how to fix toys. Hey, there it is. She comes with the claws, but I think the claws. Okay, hold up. Oh, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold on. Let me go into my pictures because I took a screenshot of how I want her on my shelf. <laughs> oh, no, it's too bright. Oh, okay. You're wild. Oh, I know. Okay. I think I know where you got that picture from. Yeah, yeah. That's how I want her on my shelf. <laughs> That's you're oh, wow. All right, I cannot pose like that. If you can do that, I will give you all the posing points because that is that is nuts. Okay, who did that? That is cool. Okay, let's get the banner back. <laughs> you can try like pose twice. Okay, so she has her arm on her waist. Oh, you're gonna try this right now? Oh, her this is gonna be waist great. Is a little up. Like that, okay. So, like this, but her waist is like this. This arm goes up, and she's like smelling her armpit a little bit. Not really. So, I have that so far. Is that is that looking all right? Hold on, wait. Almost, she needs to kind of bend her back a little more. I think this way, this is like no, like more of a yeah, arch it. I'm, I'm arching. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. I don't think I'm arching that good. Okay, so that okay, like that, and then this foot is like up. Yeah. Oh 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 oh! Wait, hold on, hold on. Tail goes this way. Okay, so have you guys watched that show on Netflix called Nailed It? It's like no. what they they bake like bake stuff and they're like this is what you're supposed to make but you make oh, this okay i've heard of it it's such a good show watch it so this I'm is looking what i have the photo yeah this is what you're supposed to make this is what i'm supposed to make and and this is what i did oh shit that's yeah, not bad yeah yeah it's yeah, not yeah. bad it's not terrible <gasps> no did i kind of do it people you almost yeah it looks did like you I kind do of it? did it yeah, okay i, I kind of did it okay Okay. You turn your torso a little bit more, and yeah, no, you got that. That's really nice. Wow. Okay, now get her to stand like that. Uh, That'll impress me. I don't think that's ever going to happen, but look at that. That is a seductive Tigra figure. Yeah. Chat, what do you guys think? I nailed it, guys. You nailed that. Yeah, Yeah, that that looks real good. Nailed it. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Got some stuff going on. I did it. 
Dragon Boy Story. Yeah. Not bad. I'm happy. You guys, I, I, okay, we're good. I okay. Like I like this. I like this. Okay. Whew. Now I kind of want to keep one. Uh, dude, of course. So my friend Quinn, who is Spooky Barn Toys, is yeah. in chat. If you guys still need your tiger figure, pick her up at Spooky Barn Toys. This man is the hardest working guy in our community. Hella pick up your toys from him. You guys will never regret it. So go and follow Spooky Barn Toys on Instagram. Go to the website and you guys can get a whole bunch of stuff. And definitely, Quinn, pick yeah, it up. Yeah, you should keep one. Yeah, Quinn, keep one for sure. Definitely. Hold on. Let me link Spooky Barn Toys in chat for everyone because he's my friend and I want to support my friend. I still can't believe you pulled that off like so like flawlessly. <laughs> Maybe Troy knows how to pose. Yeah, toy. you were faking last week. That was a bull. Yeah, dude, that wasn't was, right. No, you were faking no, last week. no, no, no. How do you I'm go not... from I can't put Tony in a regular like bended knee pose, yet I can pose Tigra in the most seductive? Like, nah. Nah. <laughs> I'm not buying that. How did I do that? But yeah, how did I do, do that? Kind of but then you botch Tony so bad that like Ryan Ting has hit you up, be like, nah, dude, like you gotta, uh, you gotta put that back. <laughs> I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did. That okay, well, that was that was uh Kid Troy Post Toys. Um honestly, I love this little segment. Uh who 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 started this? Toying around, Jason? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I believe Ken put you on the spot quite a bit, Ken. and I was there laughing. And then, yeah. and I said I'd come back yeah. each week to give you a new poem. Yeah. Here I am, week two, and you killed it. So now I got to do. Be really hard next week. Give me harder. But this is okay. Andros right now. Andros is just chilling in his nice fur coat. Nice. But uh, I I don't know. Like my if you guys see my like display, my display is very like I don't know. Hold on, let me just see if I could. Do you guys see my display over here? Now I see a bunch of boxes you need to open, including a number 29 G.I. Joe right there that definitely won't be open this month. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Guys. Be, you know. Okay. But I do see your display. Hold on. See this? Now oh, that Hasbro Pulse box, man. There's still so much toys in this. Open it. There are toys over there. Over open there. It. That's yours. Open it. No. Oh. I think tech is over there. Meow skulls. That's venom. I think that's uh, roadblock. I don't know what figure that is, but there's a whole bunch of stuff that I need to open. And I, gosh, oh, is your Joe collection displayed, or like, are you like many that just need to catch up on getting the Joes before displaying them? Do you want me to show you where my Joes are? Am I gonna be upset? Yes, <laughs> yes, you will. Let's, Here, let, let's see it. Okay, Let's talk amongst this. yourselves. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Great. Well, where, where I is he? Tech. Okay. So, so. I'm waiting for all of them to drop before I open any one of the Bad Batch because as I am not usually a Star Wars collector, Bad Batch to me is like Ninja Turtles featuring Star Wars. I don't, you know, maybe people have said that before, but I really, really want to just have them all, including uh, Go Echo, sorry, before I open them yeah. up. So, yeah. But yeah. uh, tech, tech I found early. Tech I found. Okay, my daughter was born on August, so I think I found tech like late August in my Walmart that never has anything, and he was just there, and I was like, "Yikes! Thank you. I will take that." And tech has been in a closet with Hunter and I believe Crosshairs and Wrecker, just hanging out, doing good. Okay, so before we do the the bad stuff. Let's just talk to the chat for a second. Bust out Hydra Stomper and Captain Carter. No, if you watch that episode, absolutely. That was <laughs> Skinny <laughs> called that lots, lots of boxes. boxes. Mm -hmm. It's what I do, Quinn. It's what I do. Meow Skulls is nice. I I, I really want to open GI Joe. Uh, sorry, not GI Joe. The Fortnite yeah. because it looks really cool. Has barbecue hit? MC hooked my ass up. See. No, I don't think he has hit Canada. No, no, no I right? Think, I haven't heard of barbecuing yet. Hmm. Favorite turtle, go. Donatello. He beats you with a stick, and he's the smartest turtle. No. The, the red one. Re the red one? <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> what? <laughs> it's not itching in your the red. Oh. The red one. He's mad at you. Hold on, I'm going to show you the red one. He's Is not it happy with you right now? Leonardo. That's Donatello. What? Raphael. Oh. oh, 
<laughs> I'm sorry. He didn't mean it. I swear. <laughs> Oopsie. Okay. You're because you're gonna hate me with this. Does Troy not know turtles? No, I don't know that much. Okay, so before I show you this, okay. this pile, I apologize to both of you. You guys have been amazing people. I just want you to understand that I have no room on my shelves. Now, this box I'm going to show you contains a lot. Oh, shoot. <laughs> So someone says rack guy, I think his name is shredded lettuce. Mm -mm -mm. Waiting for Echo and Omega. Can't wait for those. The red one. Guys, I... the red one. You see? My favorite turtle, the green one. Mm -hmm. Okay. That I mean, he's clearly mocking you. <laughs> yes, I know. Okay. Who's that? The, the band aid off. Jeez. Ah! What is that? What is this? What is, is that? Why is, is that sword bent out of no? <laughs> What's happening? This is snake eyes. Wow! Look that's at the a, sword. That's a sword. <laughs> that's a disrespect. That's a disrespect. <laughs> oh my gosh! Troy does destroy toys. Holy shit! Yeah. So, that's it. <laughs> so uh, I've been trying to figure out what to do because this sword is hella bent. Um, as you can see, this is the box of Troy would love to, to do something with this box. Burn it with fire. But um, <laughs> <laughs> burn it. yeah. All right, so is that hold on? There's a yellow ranger in there. That's Peter Parker. That's in it. Nope. You have Flint hanging out in there, Wolverine, Rogue, uh, Goldar. Man, even the wolf got it. Like, man, <laughs> I can't even like <laughs> So <laughs> at that point, are you just unboxing them to just send them to that plastic dump hell? <laughs> like, okay, you will stay here until I have shelf room. <sighs> I understand. I understand. I've done it. I that hey, I've done that. Okay. But they but... at least stand around my desk and okay, stare okay. at me while I work. <laughs> Hold on. At least yours you have pose around your desk. This has been this has been sitting here Don't... since the beginning of 2021. Like most of these things, and I have yet to do anything with it. Yeah, there's a Lord Dakin in here too. Yes, there is. It's the PulseCon exclusive Lord Dakin. You got the PulseCon dragon. <laughs> you got Evo three sitting in a plastic bin. Man, <laughs> there's like a whole bunch of figures in here that yes, they need. Like yeah, gosh, this is my makeshift Peter Parker because the other one was really ugly. Um. Um, I think, yeah, next week segment is Troy arranges toys. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. We have some Troy of that. displaces toys, we but have yes, some of that. that is, um, that was I, amazing. Darth Gutierrez, thank you so much for joining today. I really appreciate you coming in. You're awesome, Jake. I will not heat and mold it, don't listen to them. Actually, and <laughs> any hidden figures in here, like hidden gems, yeah. Uh, don't dump it on the floor. Do not do that. Dump it. Here, you guys could take a look to see if there's anything in here that's that could be. Um, look at Lady J just like Lady J is suffocating, suffocating man. in there. <laughs> Poor um, Lady J. I don't know. There's the Black Ranger, Black Red Ranger, Red Ranger, yeah, Red Ranger. Uh, Please. There's a storm. Head. No, I don't think that's storm. I think that's black cat, black cat hair. Head. Yeah, um, that's probably black head and skull. Yeah, I do not feel so bad about my cabinet anymore. Yeah, oh, look, there's Baroness in here. There is Cobra Commander. There's a, a Red Ninja. And I'm just uh... is his sword bent? No, surprisingly no. not. How is <laughs> how does this happen well when you kind of leave it in his hand and he's like the edge of that bin i'm imagining anything that's a sweater yeah. or anything would just yeah. pop on top of that so that's that's uh that's where all the other hasbro properties that are not star wars or marvel goes <laughs> <laughs> so do i do you have a store <laughs> it sells them. <laughs> Um, listen guys how many exclusives are there because there's a lot of exclusive in that bin um, honestly, like I 
I was thinking that, you know, like if there's another toy show, I know there's a toy show coming uh, soon. I do want to sell toys and like, you know, get you guys, like I have so much toys I need to get rid of. Like there's a lot. So I do want to do toy shows in the next few in the next year so definitely i will definitely sell some of these things so if you guys do see some you'll see but honestly shipping is just right now it's nutty professor out there like yeah. dude i have to ship out those two figures that i uh for the giveaway last week they're like 40 bucks to ship to the us Ooh, you know it's nuts it's nuts 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 and i'm Are just like where in the us i think the last the last three weeks I've been shipping to the States and it's always been like, well, from, from Quebec, 1944 each time, just like 20 See, bucks standard. Oh. I, okay, so I'm going to leak something. You know me, I like to leak. You do. Um. So I was, I, so I bought that PulseCon set, Mr. Modoc here. Yes, right? which I finally opened mine. You opened yours? Yes, yeah. I finally opened mine. Put it right back in box, but I opened it. Let's you open it and get it back. <clears throat> Man, enjoy it. Enjoy this figure. So you guys know who I sent this to, right? No. I sent, if you guys watch Mr. Shard, Miss Prime. Oh, yes. I, I sent you. this and Venom to him. The shipping. So the box wasn't relatively big because it has to fit the Modoc box, right? Hmm. I told him that I sent the, okay, so I shipped it out and I messaged him immediately. I was like, dude, we are like for shipping. I'll take the hit. I'll take some of the hit for this because it's crazy. $88. Huh? Yeah. It was, it was $88 to ship to California. <laughs> wow. And and Shardimus was like, uh, I don't know if I want this anymore. And I was like, well, it's it's already in the mail, dude. Like, <laughs> you're going to have to accept it. And I felt so bad because I was like, because he's like, oh, well, like, you know, like, I'll probably get one from PulseCon, like the Pulse box. Definitely got one from PulseCon. <laughs> but we didn't get, we didn't get one in the Pulse box. So, I mean, I'm happy that I was able to give him that. But he would have saved so much money if he just bought it off Pulse. I felt yeah. so bad. I felt so bad. But you have to remember, Canada, like, and plus we got into EB Games, which was a discount. Yeah, true. Yeah. Very yeah. true. It's so it's so nuts. Yeah, I had a friend come over Saturday. He has like tons of Transformers, but he missed out on Venom. He yeah. didn't even know it. he didn't even know it existed. Yeah. So then he saw it on my wall, and I'm like, no, 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 don't touch that one. Grab the second one. He's like, second one. He's like, you're gonna give me that, right? I'm like, no, no. That's that's for me to open, and yeah, because that venom. I, I appreciate you for doing that for short of is because a lot of people can get him. And, yeah, and, honestly, and, I love yeah. sending these out to guys like big, like reviewers. Like, mm -hmm. hey, you know what? I'll ship these things to you. Like, I I, I tell people, listen, I, I for me, I don't care about the price tag because, um, Boca Bo Tan isn't sorry. I'm reading someone. I'm, mm. Gary, I, Gary, I'm still sending it to you. Don't worry about it. You're going to get your Boca Tan. Um, <laughs> so listen, like when I send to influencers and like down in in the states, like Shardimus Prime is one of the person I'll send it all all the time. He he was the person that I like. I hate to say this, but like I grew up on with Shardimus Prime. Like I watched his videos. I. Yeah, like he was someone I was like, oh my god, I can't wait for his videos. Him and Robo and MCU Collector are the only reviewers I watch. MCU wow. Collector, I just watch because I get the lols out of it because he's yeah. such a he's, he's so funny. But he he's like, this is ugly, and I'm like, damn, <laughs> you cannot sugarcoat this at all. But like, and like Robo is so good. I love Robo's reviews, so good. And oh, like Chardonnay wow. is just like, like what is it just for me like still the pinnacle of toy reviewers and he's so like he's amazing and quinn yeah glenn i've started it all mm -hmm. and um shardimus does like he he that's his he uh shardimus, he's modeled after he's uh, his style is very much that of it, like glenn yeah 
Exactly. Exactly. So honestly, it's, it's, uh, he's like, he's been a big idol of mine. And like, I don't mind shipping these things out to him. Like, if we get binary, I'll ship him a binary. I'll ship him, uh, something. Anyways, actually, we had something on the agenda today. Shipping dates. Oh my Mm. gosh. Yeah, those are uh, so so many things that I'm waiting for have been pushed back because um, we I get them from GameStop usually. That's my number one. It goes yeah. my number one mm-hmm. is GameStop, Amazon.com, Amazon.ca, and then like rainy day situations like CMD or Toys R Us. So mm-hmm. that's usually how I go buy things. And if GameStop is usually really good because I'll be like, all right, it's not all hitting at once. Cool, it'll be pushed back like yeah. a week. But then like Tiger got pushed back again today from the 23rd to now the 30th. Don't know if that's gonna happen. Um, I'm waiting waiting on my Pink Ranger two pack with Zero Pink and and the other Pink Ranger mm-hmm. that was pushed back to twelve thirteen. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yeah, dates are nuts right now. I don't mind because hey, my wallet's great. <laughs> but <Yeah. laughs> you know, <laughs> but uh, but these toys, I'm just like, hmm. And then you see them pop up other places, and you're like, do I dive on it and jump on it now? Do I that's wait? Exactly. Like for me, this Wolverine five pack wasn't showing up in .ca, so I was like, F this. Mm-hmm. I'm getting it at .com. So mm-hmm. I bought it at .com. Cheaper than .ca by $10, except to this weekday it was on sale, so I almost... I. Anyways, like, for me, like, um, Sandman has it hit GameStop, so I went to my main man, Quinn, like, he, he hooked me up with this. He hooked me up with... He honestly hooked me up with... Uh, this wave if it wasn't for him i wouldn't have these figures because gamestop yeah. is when is this showing up at gamestop like it's so it's like yeah like today at my gamestop we got hercules and i was like a little too late there because i already picked it up at toys r us like right like a little too late and like these figures these these ones are going to be delayed jeez right so they're now Jin, wait, Jin is at GameStop, right? I saw her at one GameStop. Uh, I think it GameStop. Um, it was Jin, Castian. Uh, I know Bodie Rook is delayed. He's uh-huh. not yet. Uh, K two S O, um, and and the other two, the one that you have, uh. Baz, what was it? What was Baz and Shirt and Way. Yeah, they did the other ones. I think it's Bodie that's still delayed from GameStop, if I remember. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. Like, I seen. Did you? So Bearded Builds, did you see the whole wave at GameStop? Or did you see pieces? Because my GameStop only got pieces. I went to Toys R Us this morning, or yeah, to this morning, and they had. Um, almost three whole rows of ten of gin at Whoa. Toys R Us. Okay. They had it one one peg here, one peg there, and one peg. That's all they had at Toys R Us this morning. Wow. Yeah. So my so, I, was, so I went last Friday, and it was those three that were on the pegs. So I only saw those three figures. So it was in pieces. Honestly, I don't know. Like, but here's the funny part. The Marvel Legends Pulse exclusives are shipping next week in two weeks. Yeah, yeah. wasn't expecting that to hit because, <laughs> yeah, I did quite a bit of damage with those. And Me too. if so, like, I did uh, three shield packs, five scrolls, <laughs> two Excaliburs, two X Forces. If that hits all on the same day, we're, we're screwed. <laughs> Lady Figgy's gonna be really mad with me. Let me yeah. tell you, my wife's gonna be so mad. <laughs> but I, was, I won't. But yeah, it, it's gonna be different. It's but. crazy because today, uh, when I got the notification that um, Human Torch was shipping in a few days, I so I looked in the thing and I go, "Wait, I ordered two. Why did I order two? Or somebody so else. I I literally looked into the chat, like with me and Jason, and we're just digging through this, and I'm like, oh. Uh, Kevin wanted one. And I'm like, guys, they're shipping. So I can't, and the thun that you can't edit your order once you place it with no. pulse. Like it's no. stuck there. Mm-hmm. So I have two 
torches that are coming. But Kevin is like, eh, I don't know if I want it. I'm like, uh. No, you better take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you better take it. Um, Quinn actually has a question for you, Great White North. Question. Great White might know. I'm leaning on selling uh, the barge, but I don't have the yak face as I sold them. Is it worth providing another or just sell without? Hmm. Um... The figure, I get it. If the figure yak face with the barge, um, I think the barge itself is just sell it as just the barge. Like, I get the yak face is an important thing. It was part of the the whole thing. If you're gonna sell something, you want everything. That's the. But some people do sell just the barge itself, and it goes crazy. So you could put it up there and sell it. I think you yeah. get your money. It's like it's a ha like I said. What, what what I believe is like when the Haslabs come out, and the thing is. You, when you buy it, like it's what was it? Galactus was three hundred and almost four for Galactus. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh no! No no! It that was, Canadian five hundred. Yeah, five hundred. Oh, the, but, trust me, my wallet got a big ding on that day. <laughs> oh, like, oh boy! But go ahead, go ahead. But no, I it, I, I haven't seen a yak face in a while. Even for toy shows, I barely see him like a yak face. But the barge itself. I try it. I would try it. It's not like the barge is a cool like mm. from TVC. They got her. Very so nice. Quinn, I have a question for you. Why don't you do the toy shows? I, I would love to come do the toy shows. I could yeah, we, could, yeah. we could buy a table and we could just sell figures. And like it was honestly, I will say when we did the toy show in October, me and Kevin, people were hungry, hungry for figures it was crazy and like leaving that place with like a lot of dough in my hands going mm -hmm. i sold barely nothing it was worth it for me so mm -hmm. uh, my friend jake wants to know if the bardock so we went to toys r us last week me and jake that's where we found miss tigra um nice still pose like this um so <laughs> we saw these dragon ball z like model kits and I was like, dude, I want these because it was one was Braddock, 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 and one was Jiren. And I was like, yo, I want this. So um, he's like, does it come painted? Yes, it does come painted. Um, all right, good. As in the hard part, yeah, you're, you, I don't know. Um, <laughs> so Fly Zone 21, ordering from Hasbro Canada has become expensive. And he only ordered the Wolverine VHS during Paul Scott. Okay. Yeah. Toy Rensu, where are you? Because I need you to sound the alarm. Troy's going to have a hot take. Oh, shit. Oh, snap. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hot take. I need I need a banner. Just like... <laughs> just hot take? Right just, across? Just like this. Hot take. Uh, <laughs> next week. I'll do it next week. Um, okay. Here's my hot take. I don't think those figures are worth it. Hey, man. I, you said that. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm just kind of, you know nodding in agreement a little bit so the reason why i'm saying that they're not worth it it's not worth it for canadians and for canadians we're getting screwed up we're getting oh i love these oh yoko <laughs> i love this okay well canadians we're getting screwed up the ass with this and i don't care what we're gonna say i love my hasbro legends i love my hasbro team but listen we're getting canadians are getting shafted if I'm paying a hundred dollars USD for two figures, this is two figures. I'll tell you my order total for the two VHSs I have right now. Actually, the four of them. It is two Wolverines, two Jubilees. Total is one fifty eight sixty US dollars. See, that's not worth it. That's a full wave of Marvel Legends you can find at Toys R Us at at like eb games like it's not worth it i i know that these are look look cool but like i can't i can't i'm literally gonna cancel my wolverine i'm gonna keep my jubilee but i just i just can't it's like it's too much it's too much and these pulse con exclusive stuff these hydra soldiers no not hydra soldiers uh scroll soldiers um aim no not aim French. yeah, yeah. And uh, Hydra, shield. uh, Hellfire. We yeah, have these, these, these are cost effective for the U.S., but not for the for Canada. These 
three packs are going to cost an arm and a leg. Like, listen, and a spleen. It, and a spleen. And a spleen. <laughs> so yeah. if you guys, if my friends who are watching, aka Jason and Kevin, if you guys order, you guys are, you are literally e-transferring me the day they get tuck, taken out of my account. Because that's that's a huge, huge job yep. of my, my yeah. thing. Okay, yep. so... <laughs> My friend Jake has a question. Yo, from the guy who doesn't uh, do collecting of any kind, does the value drop big time if you open the box and stuff, or does it matter? Um, Depends on the toys, but usually loose will get you the same amount of money as boxed. Usually. Sometimes. Usually, yeah. yeah sometimes, yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's some figures that will go up in price. Like, any mm. exclusives, if you have it in the box, 100%, will yeah. stay, like that right there i don't know if you can see it it's that that's the venom if mm -hmm. it stays in the box it's going to go up in money the stuff behind yeah that yeah, rex, the rex the rex is going to go up in money i'm like, actually yeah. going to ask you guys because you're star wars heads uh this guy oh no no that's a bunch of paper this guy not all right like just whatever um Low, it's probably mm -hmm. regular price because I mean I'm gonna keep it regardless. I have the other one. I just figured I'm probably not gonna open him because of all of them. This one would be, I think, the one that either no. goes up or down. There's no, really no. There's a um there's a rare first one. edition, first edition Mando yep. white box. I think white I box. I, uh, white, white box Mando. Box. Ah, okay. So it's, first well, it's not white box, but it's a second sister. Yeah, so that's what it was. That's the Black Series white box. So I, during the pandemic, because I didn't know what was happening with life, I had a white box Mando. I sold it for 300 <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it goes for that. Yeah. yeah it's, okay. the, guy was like, the guy was like, yo, I want this. I want this. So I was like, no problem. Ben Sword in the box? Well, definitely it's not going to. Yeah, take a hit. <laughs> it's going to take a hit. <laughs> yeah. But if it stays on the shelf for... You know, I don't care, but it's going to stay with me. Um, he says, really cool. People are weed with... Open you know what? Honestly, Jake, I will tell you, when I went to the toy show, people were going crazy for loose stuff because for me, like, I don't know if you guys have, like, seen me. Like, Akil, you're in freaking Montreal, so you don't know what I'm talking about when I'm I saying don't, I, But I understand the toy show hustles. Yeah. I totally get it. I don't know if you've been to, like, toy jams or toy meetups. Like, we've done this before. Like, people love my prices because, like, I don't cheat you out of money. Right. Like, I'll be like, listen, th this with all the accessories, give me, like, 25 bucks. Right. Cool, right? Yeah. Like, easy. Yeah, yeah. People, like, 100%. Like, I'll go, oh, this Wolverine, give me, like, 10 bucks. Cool. And mm. people call it a day because, like, you know, I'm very, like, very, like, reasonable with my prices. So I guess that's why a lot of people, you know, like, <laughs> like buying from me. But... Yeah, yeah. I'm You're at a con know. and you don't sell your stuff for con prices. That's basically what. It yeah, is. I yeah. will not sell con prices. Like, uh, what if figures are stored? <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to check that one. That was that was my favorite comment. <laughs> That's good. Oh, I feel like I'm getting roasted. I shouldn't have shown that. That's amazing. No, you should never have shown that. <laughs> How about if it's signed by a YouTuber? Will it affect the price? Um. I don't know, but can you guys know about my Yondu? No, no. Know. Okay, so I got to interview um, Michael Rooker at the Canadian premiere Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two, and you know I was like, Michael, how do you feel about being Canada? Blah, 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 blah. Anyways, <laughs> and then at the end of the segment, I was like, Hey, like, how do you feel having a toy of yourself? And he's like, oh, Yondu. And he took the figure and was like touching it. And it was like happy. Uh, I think I've told. <laughs> and so I've literally had it in my like shelf. Didn't touch it. And then there was like that big MCU purge I have. And I sold it for like $10. Wait, you did what? I sold the Yondu. <laughs> that like Michael Roker touched and played with? Yeah. And you just sold it for $10? <laughs> and then a, yeah. Then I have a video of him like posing it. You need to rethink your, like what you're doing. <laughs> Wait, what? I know. <laughs> so Bearded Bill says, Troy uh, sold me Vampire Hunter Spider-Man at the last toy show at Awesome Price. Yeah, honestly, like, dude, like, I'm open to negotiations. You tell me 
I'm good. Uh, if you draw mustaches, would you? Oh, Jake, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's like gonna change it. Jake is like my like IRL friend. Like Jake is, Jake is like, <laughs> like Jake. he's a homie, like for sure. Like Jake is one of those guys who's like he, he'll come good. on your show and roast you about shit that no one else knows about. Exactly. I like it. That's Jake, great. don't tell any revealing <laughs> stupid stories about me, please. I just keep on showing this figure because it's so beautiful. You're so proud of yourself. I'm so proud of myself. (laughs) Guys, what I did and what I did. Look at that. Hold on. I can't believe it. Look look at this. What I was aiming for. No, you got it. And what we got. (laughs) I'm thoroughly impressed. Yes. Yes. But yeah. um, Anyways. Okay. So while I have you guys here, because I don't want to keep you guys... Like I want to wrap up in the next uh, half hour or so, because you know we're all busy people. We uh, we gotta we gotta do stuff. Oh God, correct. I built a damn computer. He streams off him. Just roast him. <laughs> yes. So this computer that you're seeing here, Jake did build it for me, nice. but Mother Effer left the plastic. Inside <laughs> in the tower, and he didn't take it out. <laughs> See, look at that plastic in there. He built a computer and he just like leaves the plastic. So, I'm gonna roast him a bit for that. Thank That's you so okay. much, Jake. Uh, hold on, my camera is just I'll leave him a little bit, but yeah, I, I appreciate Jake making my computer. It cost me a lot of money. Um, he saved me a lot of money on it too. So, thank you so much. <laughs> Uh, well, go on in with the Spider Man trailer. I love how you wrote that. Yes, yeah, yes. we will. I really want to talk about the Spider Man trailer. I'm thinking of unloading and purging my Transformers, Siege Kingdom, Earthrise. I think Excel the Marketplace, baby. But listen, I will suggest if you ever want to be profitable, sell them for Marketplace, but like maybe like two or three dollars cheaper. Um, I know you're going to hit take a, a, a little bit of a hit, but just if you want to get that instant money, do it. Sell it. But but also some advice because people will come to you and they will kind of like not play stupid, but they'll kind of just be like, oh, well, GameStop has deals and they'll try to get you to like sell yourself for under retail, even if it's a fig that's way above retail. If you have a fig that's worth like, say, way up. And you're selling it at retail, stick to retail. Don't let these guys come in and try to be like, mm-hmm. well, the price used to be $29.99. No, 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 True. no. $33.99 now. That's retail. You're gonna get it at that. Because yeah. some people just really try to give the gab and they're I don't know. It's maybe the fear of being called a scalper, which is not so much what it is, it's just that you're just trying to get the value of what you have mm-hmm. for what it's worth. So you yeah. what you're worth and keep it at that. But you can we- be like Troy and sell Yondu's for ten dollars here after Michael Roker touched him. That's fine. true. <laughs> oh, oh God. I don't even, I don't know. Okay. Actually, um, while I have you guys here and while I, we're discussing figures, you guys are going to roast me with this again, but I'll still show it <laughs> because I'm a good boy. Okay. So you know what happens with, you know, fan expo, right? Everyone <laughs> loves fan expo. Yeah. What's this? That is a photo of Troy with an infinity. Uh-huh. Um, so that's Evangeline Lily. Wow, with the wasp. With the wasp. Not gonna but on you. here's the funniest photo. I don't know if my friend still has it. So my friend was like, yo, can I borrow the, the gauntlet? I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. Never saw that again. No, no, he, he, gave, it, like, he gave it back to me. Oh shoot! I, he blocked me on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Y'all hold on. No more. No, no! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! We're friends. We're friends. Uh, we, I think I tagged him. Oh, oh god! I don't know where. Comedy. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, he's my San Diego Comic Con friend. So we always we went to Comic Con three times together. Blessed. It was amazing. Uh, where is he? He blocked you, boy. <laughs> he blocked my butt. <laughs> oh, Anyways, man. so he got a. Um, I think he changed his name on Instagram. I would show you, but. Um, anyways, he got Miss uh, Evangeline Lily 
to actually hold and wear the gauntlet. No oh, shoot. And I sold the gauntlet. Mm. <laughs> Man, like <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I mean, you're gonna keep telling me sad stories. You, like, yeah, this is yeah. nuts. <laughs> so that's that's my life, my story of my life, guys. I I like to uh, sell things that celebrities have touched. That's okay. I mean, as long as it's not like you know a kind of like a clutter thing, and you know, I, I get it. So I have room. I have room on top of there, but I just don't. I didn't. <sighs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally snap. Yeah, snap myself into existence. Hello, Toil Malarkey. How are you? Okay. While we have a few more minutes, let's discuss this beautiful masterpiece that is very highly edited. <laughs> <laughs> this new Spider Man No Way Home trailer. Okay. <gasps> Okay. What are your thoughts? I mean, I'll I'll go first. You um, go first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Listen, I want to hear. I think. Uh, what do I think? I think the trailer is giving you a lot, which is good, but not just under enough so that you're not getting a whole movie. I think we're getting duped a lot. There's a lot of scenes that in that trailer that probably don't happen in the movie at all. That's for sure. I don't trust them after Infinity War. I don't trust True. them. So I'm really not. I mean, I'm probably the only person in this world that doesn't want three Spider-Man in this movie. I'm that guy who's like cool without seeing the other two Spider-Man. Though we do see that scene from the Brazilian trailer where yeah. Lizard is getting kicked by literally nothing. I get it. But that could be anybody. Right? Most Dude. likely Spider-Man. I don't know. Lizard is being punched by someone, and it's... it could be Venom. It, it could be Venom. It could be I don't know, but I just really hope it's not those other Spider Men. Um, otherwise, this movie is going to be great. MJ is for sure dead. No. Yeah, yeah, she's I out of here. My Zendaya. Now she's in Dune. Now she's a Dune girl. Now she's out. she she's is. Out. Well, I did hear a. Sp I don't know if it's a spoiler, but someone was saying that like Ned gets seduced by a Green Goblin. To become a goblin. Now you see, himself. if Ned does become a hobgoblin, that would be great to how Ned Leeds becomes hobgoblin in the comics before they retconned it. I am super happy for that. That's one of my predictions that I had from like eons ago. That's why I was wondering why like the actor had his head shaved because with a, I'm listen, I'm 36. I would pray for hair. So if I have lots of hair on my head, <laughs> I'm not shaving it bald just for fun and with the risk of never not getting it back. Look at those locks, exactly. Those beautiful locks. Why would I do that as an actor? So I think he got paid big bucks to do that because he's probably Hobgoblin. That's just my hunch. And mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's like a rumor that's going around because there was a photo that was circulating of him like going through prosthetic mm. and like having like this like weird makeup on his face. So I hope I didn't spoil anything for you guys. <laughs> I mean, it could be. That could also be Willem Dafoe based on just some things that I've seen before that i was like oh i shouldn't have seen that while i was at work and i was like okay i should just leave and then that was that but um we're about to see a great movie that's all i'll say <laughs> we are about to see a yeah, movie. 100%. Really good movie. yeah um there's a great point over here that scaffolding scene with lizard is the exact same as the ag blue screen week yes it is yeah, and it is. if you guys see the picture that was leaked by some guy who said he's like oh I leaked the photos, but I didn't mean to leak the photos. <laughs> and when there's two certain photos, you can see that the scaffolding is there. And, you know, but it's kind of weird. So that's the Statue of Liberty? Their Statue of Liberty apparently yeah. is getting remodeled to hold Cap's shield, I guess, instead of uh, the, you know, torch that it usually carries. So, oh. see, that's uh, one thing I don't like. Yeah. Why? Why? I mean, it's okay. It's MCU. It's cool. But I don't know. Um, listen, I will say, you know what, Great White North, you go first. What's your take? Because I, um, I have a hot what? take. <laughs> hot take. <laughs> um, I'm pretty excited for the movie, to be honest. Um, mm -hmm. I know the trailer wasn't going to show us a lot. I get, get they showed the villains. I knew the villains were going to be something they were really going to start showing is the who's it, but I knew they weren't going to show Toby. They weren't going to show Andrew and I get it. That's supposed to be, that's going to be a theater moment. 
where everybody's going to be like in the theater, like, oh my god. Yep. It's going to be just like when Cap picks a Mjolnir. Mjolnir. Yeah. Mjolnir. Yeah. Mjolnir. That, that's from the same thing right there. Mjolnir. 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 But. But yeah, I, I'm really, really excited for the movie. I, after watching the trailer, it's got me more and more excited to see it in theaters with everybody again. Even now, the theaters, like, big, well, last couple of months, they started opening up. So now it's going to be like, finally see with other people and get that full experience, like Endgame, yeah. Infinity War, and all that. Well, I'm legit I'm ex- trying to rent a theater because, like, I'm not trying to be around people like that. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't know if I've ever told you what happened when I went to watch Eternals. Oh, we do tell because, yeah. yeah. So I went to watch the Eternals and I bought, so the theater was like, I, I was the first person to buy tickets, but it was a time where there was no, where there was capacity limits. Yeah. So you, there was like, you couldn't buy tickets or you could uh, buy seats beside each other. I was like, you know what? I'm going to, I was like, I'm a hundred percent sure capacity limits are going to be like taken away. So I got to secure myself now. I bought the seat next to me and I was imagine. going alone. So I was like, hell I'm buying the seat beside, like beside me. Yeah. So the day I get to the Eternals, so there's me, the seat I bought, and then two other empty seats, and then someone else. So I literally was like, I bought an extra ticket for no reason at all because these people didn't show up. But anyways, I love the Eternals. I don't know if you guys, if you talked about the Eternals, I loved it. But hot take time, Spider Man. Can't wait to see that movie. Actually, I'm excited. It's good, honestly. Um, I personally love the movie um, for Eternals. Uh, a lot of people don't like it, but I, I really liked it. I really enjoyed it. Um, it was just, there's some moments where it's just like, what? What's mm-hmm. happening? But um, you just have to watch it and you have to figure out what, where you rank this in the MCU and like how, how certain things go, huh? That So does this make this happen? Does this, is this like it's just like I, I don't want that's why I don't want to spoil it. It's just like, so is this is this a thing now? Is that a thing? Like there's one which uh, so I don't know if you guys like watch. So what am I uh, mm. hot take time? Hot take, hot take, hot take. Hot take. <laughs> so what are the biggest things take. I hate about like movies after the the like like the first week they always show like a big moment to the movies and like if you watch like tv and like there's a screen and, oh uh eternals is the number one movie of the year or the week and they'll show like the big moment and i'm like why did you show the biggest moment of the movie i was like what is what's happening with you guys why are you so stupid <laughs> why, are you <laughs> why are you so stupid like i don't understand it um but yeah, Eternals is really good. You just have to figure out. I think the end credits make the movie a lot better. So take it out of that as it is. I mean, Venom made the movie better because Venom 2 sucked. Sorry, everyone. I hated Venom 2, but Venom 2 was really bad. Um, but the end credits made it really good. Shang-Chi. I like Shang-Chi, but I like the end credits better. Oh. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Um, hot take. Okay. I personally think that this movie is probably going to be the best movie of the year in terms of Marvel, but I think that they should have delayed it. Ooh. Ooh. I think the movie should have came out like either March or like March. I think it should have taken Doctor Strange's place because Doctor Strange got delayed. Only reason is because uh, I follow this reviewer and she, not reviewer. I guess she's a reviewer. She's a scooper. She said that the movie needs more v- a VFX work and that the movie is really like they're working seven days a week. And then that's why there's so much leaks happening. Uh, the movie is just being leaked everywhere. That's kind of nuts. Um, wow. Really? She said that? Yeah. She's like, the reason why it's being leaked is because everyone, they're they're sending this out to VX VFX studios, mm-hmm. multiple VFX studios, yeah. and that that they're not vetting the VX studios, Good. and that mm-hmm. that's why these screenshots are being leaked and being put out there. So I that's why uh, I just wish they like they they could have just delayed it by three months. 
it just made it perfect like perfect because dr strange i don't know if you guys heard about dr strange but dr strange 2 is basically they have to redo the whole movie yeah they're yeah, they literally yeah. redoing the whole movie they they're they said oh we're gonna add more cameos but no it's they're adding six weeks of principal photography to this movie and she's like she goes i don't know if you guys a lot of people hate great randolph but i like grace randolph she goes the movie is rachel mcadams heavy the fact she's like we don't know if she's gonna be taken out of the movie not taken out of the movie but i don't know anyways hot take hmm. hot take uh so quinn says i went in thinking it woke garbage but i was shocked it was awesome and druid or whatever stole the show i do agree i really like druid bearded bills is going this friday uh why not just wait and go in the morning on sunday three weeks <laughs> listen you know what true i will say i'm a big person who likes going to the movies by myself i go to the movies by myself all the time uh i saw eternal by myself i saw did i see venom 2 by myself i think i saw venom 2 by myself but i saw a lot of movies but um oh <laughs> yeah so <laughs> anyways um so you did see venom 2 by yourselves um i just left a little little tidbit for uh troy in um in in our private chat so he he's <laughs> a little red in the face it's kind of funny uh <laughs> what other movies have you seen by yourself i don't know how to react to this message <laughs> But, yeah. but yeah. was I correct? I, I, I'll text you later. But kind of no, no, no in a way, but yes in a way. See, I listened to Grace Randolph, so that's why. But I think the movie should be delayed. Wasn't it supposed to come out prior to Doctor Strange, anyways? So yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. Then yeah. they're probably reshooting to kind of have it coincide more with Spider Man. I don't know. All that purple stuff at the end of the know? trailer looked like no, I don't. I have no idea. I don't know. I'm an IT guy. I don't know anything. Um, so all I, I all that purple stuff at the end of the trailer just looks like you know multiversal transgressions of things jumping into the universe. I can't hold I think, them off. You I know. think he's talking about like the other Spider-Man he can't hold off. I'm the or that or the the amount of variants of villains coming in. Who knows? I don't know. Well, I, don't, I don't know anymore, I guys. Know. That that know. message <laughs> kind of shook me to the core. It shouldn't have. It should not have. Just, no, that's regular everyday stuff. Come on. <laughs> um, <laughs> Just I, I don't know how to proceed after this. Yes. Um, yeah, I uh, want to. I want to speak about Quinn's message about woke garbage in, in, in Eternals. I want to see because, first of all, I for Marvel movies, even if it's come out the day before, because I don't. I love spoilers, but I don't mind them. I read about the film and all of its happenings, even when I haven't seen the film, because same. because I'm I. It won't destroy my like imagination. Thank you. So I can read like basically end credit scene. I can know that like, oh this Thank one he you. showed up. Pip the troll showed up. That's super cool. But then Thank I will be like you. I still need to see this for myself. I knew what okay, happened yeah. in Shang yeah. before seeing. It. Okay, so I'm gonna call out Kevin and Jason. Okay. I think go. Jason was on my side. No, I don't know one of them. But they said that I'm ruining the movie for myself. No, it doesn't ruin the movie for me. My podcast will... friends say that all the time, but it really doesn't. No. Yeah, I will. Wa I will read the spoilers. Yeah, and mm -hmm. enjoy myself regardless. Yeah. I love that. I don't care what anyone says. I love going into the movie and not having to go. Oh, my heart! Like I want to be able to go. Okay, I'm enjoying this. I know what's happening. That's why when I went to the Eternals, I read the Eternals five months ago. Ooh, snap! Okay, so you're on I, Reddit. <laughs> I read. I read it on Reddit, 100. percent So I read the Eternals on Reddit, going. Okay. Okay, cool. Maybe this is gonna change. Whatever, whatever. And I go, and it's like literally beat by word me. for word. I mean, yeah, word for word for word. And yep. it's literally like they're like, I, I love it. Like I, I, I still could go into this experience and still have a good experience. And for that's sure. what I, what people don't understand. It's like I'm still having an experience. The morning, the morning end game came out. Almost like, no, I need to know who dies. And like, I just, I read, and I'm almost like, oh, Black Widow, cool. And I was just like, all right, that's right? it. I don't need to know, I don't need to know the rest of the movie. I just need to know that, like, it's not something like Hawkeye. I love Hawkeye. Hawkeye's my guy. 
I need to know that Hawkeye doesn't get killed or Cap doesn't die on some stupid shit. Let's go. I'm happy. <laughs> and that was cool. Well, I love Black Widow. She's my favorite, but I'm gonna say, yeah, you know. It was no time. But honestly, <laughs> I was invited to go to a press screening for Avengers Endgame a week before it came out. So for me to like Jake, I think Jake knows that I like I because I went to watch Endgame like six times in that week. Because I think I brought you, Jake. I don't know if maybe I didn't. But anyways, I was literally sitting there. I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you guys know, like like um TV. So Ben Mal Rooney was there, um, Dina Pugliese was there, like big like reviewers and like yeah. Toronto based like reporters were there. And I'm sitting there going, how did I get so lucky to sit here and watch this movie prior to its release with famous people? Anyways, that's that's another that's another lifetime. Yeah. But I, that's so yeah. So I like one of the movies by myself. Yeah, Bearded Bills. Yeah, but honestly, if your wife goes with you, are you actually going alone? No. But no. if she follows you, so I think <laughs> if she goes into the car with you. She's already going with you. I don't know. Anyways, I don't know where I'm going with this. See, with um, this Spider-Man, I'm running into a bit of a dilemma because, okay, for No Way Home, I went with my wife, Lady Figgy. For Far From Home, we went together. But then this one, it's coming out the weekend of her birthday, and then we have something called An Infant Child in which I'm, I, <laughs> movie theaters are a little bit loud, can't really bring yeah. a three-month-old mm -hmm. to a theater. So I'm trying to work this out where it's like, okay, if I rent this theater out and I just send her for her birthday then she'll come back and tell me what happens in a movie. And then I could go see it like on a Sunday mm. matinee type thing. I don't know. And I'll just rush to go see it by myself. And that, that that's it. Cause there's no way that Spider-Man's going to happen, especially around Christmas weekend. Yeah. And I don't see this film. That'll be like, I can't stay off the internet that long. Wait, when does this movie come out? December 17th, Friday, 17th. December 17th. No. Yeah. So literally go 17th, 18th, 19th Christmas. Oh my god! <laughs> and it's like, True. You're done for the next two weeks. And I then, gave, yeah. damn it! I gave uh, my assistant manager that weekend off. You should not have done that shit. Take no. that back. No, take it back. What I'll probably do is I'll probably like work the. Oh, I messed up the schedule. Sorry, you go oh, work sorry. Saturday. Um, so I might just take the day off on the Thursday. No, I'll probably work the Thursday. Take the day off of the Friday. Yeah, I don't know. But yes, tickets do go on sale on the 29th. Um, yeah, I don't know. So Spider-Man No Way Home. I feel like it will be... I still think they should have delayed it. I feel like Tom's trolling us. I feel like all of his like... Oh, this is really great! And thank you for this journey and all and all that hogwash. I feel like okay, you're you're building up for something. Either you're gonna die in this flick, or you're just <laughs> you're about to like jump into the multiverse. <laughs> Actually, what hit me today, and this would be nuts. If anybody watched Spider Man 1994, and we know what happened to MJ in that show, where she uh, just kind of like disappeared. She vanishes, yeah, yeah. All right. So I really do feel like at the end of this flick, if they really want to push like the multiverse of madness craziness. Have MJ fall into the multiverse it's gone and then peter goes to find her. like either he dies into finder or madame webb shows up and says hey parker like parker do you want to know where mj is interesting and then and uh, i don't know i i would love that. that that would be the bee's knees to me as a spider-man fan so yeah that's my hope <laughs> Gotta ask to finish work early that day. I don't have to ask anyone. I'm the boss. <laughs> just leave. <laughs> <I'm> just <laughs> leave. <laughs> We're trying to go out the door. All right, guys, I'm out. Going to I make my own schedule. <laughs> I tell people, why, we, why do you have this Wednesday off? Oh, I wanted the Wednesday off. Sorry, you have to work that Wednesday. <laughs> oh, you're that boss? <laughs> no, no. no, no. <laughs> but it was kind of, it was cool to see Sandman. That but, was cool. Yeah. He got reduced to wow. That's really great how they're like, okay, we're gonna have Sandman. He's just like a glob of snow and like a giant fist. And it's like, but it's cool. they so it. he Doctor Strange goes, these are people who died by Spider-Man. He offed himself at the end of Spider-Man three, kind of. Did he? I thought he, he just faded like, into the wind. He was yeah. like, oh, I thought he just <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I guess that counts as being killed by Spider Man. I guess like did he, you know, I thought he just was like, I'm just gonna go live alone. Yeah, and then that's what he did. Spider Man hurt his feelings. He's out. I'm gonna need you to risk it. Yeah, you're gonna have to risk <laughs> a vacation. Sorry. Um, 
yeah okay so i'm excited about that but one of the best parts of the trailer for me was my main man jamie fox oh gosh with his amazing electricity star mask they better explain that well because that looked kind of dumb to me. Not dumb, dumb. Like I like the ode to the original Electro. I loved it, but I was just kind of like, why? I, mm, all right. Toy Red Suit, this is a hot take moment. So let's get another hot take going on right here. <laughs> I was like, I what? I loved it. So one of the things I have to appreciate about Kevin Feige is that Kevin Feige knows what he's doing when it comes mm-hmm. to being how can I say it? He adapts the comics really well and the costumes and such. So for me, I love seeing that costume on uh, Electro. Like you're like, you're probably one of the 1% that hates it. I just thought it looked a little like the star mask. I'm like, you're going to take the power of you being a man of pure energy and electricity to formulate a star shaped mask around your face. Whenever you use your powers. Okay. True. But okay, but I don't mind it. I have no. I was just like, okay. But what would you rather have? Just give him a mask. (laughs) Just give him a yellow. (laughs) Have some like star shaped felt get burnt to his face. But would you rather have hooded electro? Uh... No, no, I don't want that. No, I don't want hooded electro. Would be weird. We don't. Yeah, but I really like this. I like Jamie Fox, and I was like, damn, he's got Tim's. He's got Tim's. Yes, Torrensu, he does have Tim's. I don't get the combat boots. He looks like a poor man's Killmonger with electric <laughs> powers. It's just weird. So some things don't translate to the big screen. Yeah, I can see that. But like Nova instead. Well, see, Hugh Jackman's going to be in that brown and yellow costume. And that's going to translate great. I bet that's why they're bringing back X-Men 97. Because they're like, listen, kids, get used to these cartoons. Because it's what you're going to see on a big screen. Well, Please. is it? Isn't from what I've been hearing, like Hugh Jackman and uh, what's his name, Patrick Stewart are going to be in Doctor Strange as cameos? Hey, that'd be great if they do it. I'm like, I, well, yeah. because we all love spoilers here, and I don't mind spoiling them, just <laughs> because I know that Wanda goes into the multiverse, and she, but this is before the, after the re, no, before the rewrite. So I don't know what's going to happen. So. So doesn't she go? She goes into the multiverse, and she like she finds it like I don't know something. There's an Illuminati or something, and it's like Ch- Charles, Captain Carter, um, and a whole bunch of other people, and then like Professor Xavier is like fighting Wanda. Anyways, this what? is what. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's 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 nuts. Like read the like. If you guys want, if looked at the the leaked V V V F X leaked V F X photo of Doctor Strange, you see her fighting Charles. Jeez! So these V F X people need to be stopped. What's happening? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is nuts. This is like nuts. it was a pre V F X. Like it's like something, but that's that's what I've heard, and that's why uh, Captain Carter was like a, such a huge deal mm. in what if apparently she probably i think she dies in doctor strange because apparently wanda kills a whole bunch of people like people that you love anyways <laughs> but this get you again, to love all those characters just to kill them no. again no this is these are not confirmed they're rumors not spoil they they could be, they could be spoilers sorry if i ruined your experience in may 2022 but like <laughs> who knows so but yeah anyways what else and what else anything else we want to talk about before we wrap up i think we're good to wrap up in like 15 minutes are you guys good i'm good for that yeah that's fine to me okay awesome because you know i love doing these live streams i love talking troy you're playing with my emotions yes i am yes i am (laughs) bearded builds i will send you the photo like i will find this photo and i will send it to you because yeah i'm looking for this photo right now it's like leaked charles verse wanda doctor let me see this he's in the hover chair photo is he's in the he's like ah i found it i found it i found it no you didn't no 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 hold on i'm gonna See if this is true. Yeah, I do see something, but he's in a hover chair. 
Yeah. What kind of shit is so apparently this Wanda, so this Wanda, so that's Wanda. All right. So apparently she gets, tr- she goes into like another Wanda's body and okay. then she uses that Wanda's body to do all the shenanigans. Wow. So, yeah. So like she's in the, the, the MCU, but like she's she can't like use i don't know she can't physically go there or something anyways it's apparently very confusing this movie i don't know i don't know if you have any other private stuff that you could talk about <laughs> uh no i i, I don't have anything for job street <laughs> there's no privacy it's just that you mentioned vfx and in montreal happens to just be a lot of a land of where a lot of vfx things happen and go down and 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 yeah you know certain companies do certain things what if was animated in Montreal? Was it really? Yeah, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, yeah. interesting. Yeah. It had that French flavor. <laughs> there was no French flavor. <laughs> I mean, maybe yeah, possibly, possibly, <laughs> maybe some croissants. I don't know, but uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm excited for Doctor Strange too. Just for America Chavez, I'm I'm happy that she's going to be in this movie. Well, and... it's apparently, like America Chavez is like beside strange the whole movie like it's just like this like it's crazy she She's dimension like, hops yeah because she can punch through dimensions and uh i think is it shuma gorath that's hunting her something's hunting her hunts her within her comic and it's like an interdimensional being slash beast because it yeah. feeds off her energy because she can go through dimensions and so on so yeah i mean i'm excited for that i'm excited well, for america chavez apparently it is shuma gorath that is you Manipulating Wanda. Super happy about mm-hmm. that too. I love Shumagorath. Isn't Shumagorath the 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 guy from What If? She, uh, okay, that's what people thought it was. Um, I don't but it was know. It's just a Hydra thing of a jiggy, right? Yeah, it looks like a Hydra thing. But Shumagorath is that thing in MVC Marvel versus Capcom too. That's like a really useless but hard character to use. Yeah, I love him. Yeah. So apparently, it is Shumagorath who's doing this but anyways i could just be talking out of my ass i don't know who knows <laughs> or we we'll could just... be right who knows yeah, Guys. well the thing is like i i don't know what to think anymore because i read the internals script five months before the actual movie and did any uh, did all of it come true yes there you go which is weird it was like i was like damn and like well avengers endgame i think i had the script for that as well but like it didn't have a complete script. Right. It was just like some moments. Like I didn't know that Cap picked up Mule Nor Mew 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 Mew. Mew, 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 Mew. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he says maybe I should go to the VX place and take a peek. Not too dry for me. Not too far of a drive for me. <clears throat> I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna pose rogue over here. I didn't uh, even I... open <laughs> figures. I opened one figure today. <laughs> I, I, I may, may, maybe he should. If fly zone, if you're anywhere near the Montreal area, um, perhaps. I, I don't know. <laughs> I really I mean, want to go to Montreal. I really want to go. How have you not been to Montreal yet? I have. Okay, that's what I'm you should come. I have, I have, I have. Drew, I have. Drew, Drew's been here. I've met Drew. Good old yeah. Drew. Oliver. I've sing next. Is that the new? Mo- is that the movie you're gonna watch next? Sing, Quinn. Sing two. Um, but yeah, no, I went to Montreal. I was in Montreal, uh, Pokemon Go Safari Zone, Montreal. So that was in 2019 in October. That was the last time I was in Montreal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So kind of far, six hours. It's all good. Last time I was in Toronto was when my seven year old niece was born. And that's not even technically Toronto because they're in Brampton, I think. Yeah, that's so, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Brampton, cool. So yeah, Brampton. that was the last time I was out there, and I need to go back. Uh, don't come to Brampton though. <laughs> <laughs> don't come to Brampton. Uh, you probably don't even come to Brampton, right? You try to stay in your neighborhood, right? Yes. <laughs> like, I, I was like, "Hey, I need to pick that crossbones or crosshair from you." He's like, "Anywhere but Brampton." I was like, "Sure." No, no, no. <laughs> I think we met. We met. So we met Great White. We met at. In Oakville. Oakville, right? Oakville, yeah. yeah I was yeah, just yeah, gonna yeah. say Oakville is like my place that I don't want to go back to. Why? I, I uh, Oakville has a Pleasantville kind of feel to it that I'm just like <laughs> not so down. Death, yes, it does. It does have a Pleasantville <laughs> type vibe. Um, but yeah, no, I 
So Bearded Bills goes, next time I'm on show, I'm hitting you up. By all means, hit me up. I'm I'm around. I'm not too far. I'm in the west of Montreal, so I'm like kind of in the middle point where there's like the airport's like my next door neighbor, but I'm also downtown oh, within 15 minutes. So yeah, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah I live I in the was, West Island. My cousin lived in Saint Hubert. Yep. No, dear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saint Hubert. Is that doesn't make sense? Saint that Hubert. Sense. That's a street it's like, and it's an area. Yeah. Is it on the river? Saint Hubert. Uh no, it's not on a not on the river. That's oh, then maybe the I'm street. just maybe I'm dumb. Hold on. No, you could be. I have to go back to like way back when. So like, I have like photos of my in here. Hold on. Yeah, but bearded builds definitely come hit me up. Um, yeah, I am your go-to person in Montreal for all oh, things fun and or toy related. Come through. Come through. Oh, what? You're also a Montrealer? Hell yeah, fly zone. Been been born and raised. Yes, sir. I used to go to Montreal like every, um, every, maybe like every big holiday because my aunt and uncle lived there. Oh wow! Okay. So yeah, they lived in Brossard. Yeah, they, I know Brossard. You know Brossard. Oh, and then I... they moved to uh, Candiac. What? Yeah, yeah, Candiac. I know Candiac. Oh, man. oh everyone apparently knows Candiac. Candiac is, uh, it's over there, over there. It's like, that's where you find the good toys, though. Like, over on, like, across the bridge and, like, over there, you will find, like, a lot of the Walmarts actually stock their toys over there. Uh, isn't, good. isn't Candiac, like, the rich people? Like, Con Yeah, it's, like, a rich-ish area because it's newer. That's yeah. It's, like, a newer development, so you're going to have, like, all the younger kids, newer people, older, older, newer people who recently got money or always had money. Yeah. move over there because they want to get out of the city and like away from Verdun and so on and so forth. Yeah, so my aunt and uncle, they owned um, two, no, three Burger Kings in the, that area. Jeez. They owned uh, Burger King in, oh god. You can't so, I don't, find a Burger King now in the city. There's like one in De, on to carry. Yeah. Mean, that's it. There's like They sold them all. Um, then they opened like a Petro Canada that has like a Dunkin' Donuts in it and like a uh, What's it called? What's that? Thai Express. Mm -hmm. I don't know where that is, but like Thai Express. Uh, wow. Yeah, where's Thai Express? Yeah. So I don't know. Like they, are, I, I, yeah. That's my life. That was yeah. my life growing up. Going to like, I remember like going to uh, their Burger Kings and like, getting all the toys from them, and I was like, oh, I love it. <laughs> BK and toys, nice. My my mom would like get all these like cool like. Burger King like sauces from my aunt and like have them at home. I was like, yeah, I like this. this but, yeah. Good. Uh, nice. but yeah, anyways, uh, what else? Anything else we want to discuss? Anything else we want to talk about? I'm in my work clothes, by the way. I I should I didn't, couldn't even change. I couldn't even wear my logo sweater. Oh, the famous hoodie. <laughs> the famous <laughs> the famous hoodie. hoodie. Yeah, I was like, the hoodie. Again. So, uh, anything yeah. else? Anything else we want to talk about? Well, how about you, Akil? What about Haslab? Um, what's the rancor? The yes. Star Wars. Okay, so, so again, rancor. as not to that's not to rob of uh, Robo, but skinny don't know Star Wars like that. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, I personally see it and I like it from afar. But as I mentioned to Great White North before, uh, the only Star Wars figs I do collect are from Bad Batch because that's what my wife is a Trekkie. She won't allow Star Wars in the house, so I kind of <gasps> I kind of sideways. I'm like, but it's Bad Batch, and she's like, fine. You can get Bad Batch, and that's the Bad Batch is so good. I know I that's that. why. Like she'll she'll tolerate it, and she's like, "Those figs are cool. You can get those." But I mean, I I want to personally just bring up the Super Seven Turtle Van, mm. which is something else that I was personally denied by the wife. She's like, "You're, you're not spending five hundred dollars on that." So the the, the the Rancor is it Rancor? How do you pronounce Rancor. it? Rancor. 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 Yeah. Rancor. Um, don't think I'd be able to purchase that if she's saying no. no to a turtle van that could hold six inch face. Well, isn't our friend Yoko? Isn't she on the Super Seven team? I did not know that, but hey, Yoko. Yeah. Hey, Zucker, girl, yeah. How are you doing? I'm like, hey, if you're on, <laughs> ever she? No, she's on Super Seven. Yeah, she's I on think. Super Seven. Well, yeah, Yoko is right. Yeah. 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 Hey Yoko, hit me up with a, a, a turtle van. That turtle because... van looks great. That's just all anyone you just need. If even if you didn't watch the show or you don't know turtles, it's a it's a van that's for six inch size figs that could fit like four or five of them, and it's amazing. It, it just I the price is a little high. Well, I could fit uh, the purple and red guy in there. 
Donatello and Raphael. And Donatello then the blue turtle. And Raphael. And then, isn't there like a yellow turtle or something? Or there is orange. one now, but she's a girl, and that's not Venus de Milo. It's another one. But there's an orange one. His name's Michelangelo, the red one. To... You're you're hurting my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> it's turtles. Funny when I get the the Power Rangers slash no the turtle turtles Power Rangers Ranger two packs. Yeah, because yeah, I'm gonna be like, this is this Power Ranger. But wait, how do you know so much about Star Wars? But like four turtles with bandanas, you can't remember. Like, okay, what? listen, guys. No, 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 really. <laughs> <laughs> there's only well, four of them. I don't know much about Star Wars to be honest. Oh. I mean, I do. There you go. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just, I don't know. Like, I, listen. To speak Star Wars, you need to know at least eight characters' names. I feel like that's like an unwritten rule. You need to know at least yeah. eight characters' names and name the first three movies of the original trilogy to kind of just get in the door of Star Wars. So I don't see how you're... And then Turtles, you're just... The red one. <laughs> the red turtle, the blue turtle, the silver turtle... <laughs> The red <laughs> turtle again. Jake with splint and fracture are the best <laughs> Who's splint and fracture? <laughs> what is this blasphemy? Jar Jar, that's all you need to know for Star Wars. <laughs> oh, Jake. Jake oh, Jacob. Jacob's point. I call him Yakupov, so you could call him Yakupov. <laughs> His name is Yakupov. <laughs> Oh, guys, I, I had to do it. I had to take her out of her. No, why'd you do that oh, for? Why? No. 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 You'll never do that again. You will never. I don't know. Uh, uh, hey, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh. Oh, no, she's like clawing her head. Oh, God. Uh, now she's scratching her belly and it's looking weird. It is. She's scratching her belly. I can't put her arms down. What the frick? Yeah, and this is where okay. Troy's about to break his toy. Troy's not going to break the silver turtle. The truth, Sith, the truth. I have the truth, Sith Lord. Do you guys see this? It's my, I will. Uh, anyways, <laughs> <laughs> I'll never do it again. Oh man, I'll never do it again. Well, I think this is a great place to kind of wrap it up. I really appreciate you both coming here. Always. I would love for you guys to plug your social media channels. Um, but honestly, you guys are welcome here anytime. You guys are my first, you're my first guest, Akil, <laughs> and yeah. you're my second guest. No, you're my third guest. Yeah, third guest. Because Kevin guest. was my yeah. second yeah. guest. Second, second guest. Yeah. So honestly, you guys are more than welcome to come chat any Wednesdays. So take it away. I will give it to someone. Go ahead. Great way. You go first. Um, you guys on chat you could uh follow me at great white north empire it's on the screen right there it's at great white north empire i post uh daily news for canadian collectors and trying to help people like my channel was based off of helping people and a lot of people what i used to be in a lot of facebook groups and all that so i'm it's just a little thing that i can give back to them and try to help people find these figures i know walmart is a <laughs> Walmart's been hard to find a lot of figures this, this year, like the Rex, Shock Trooper, and all that. But I, I believe that like it's it, mine's more about a community, and they if you got any news or anything in, in Canada, if you live in Canada or that, you just send it my way. I'll chat, we'll chat, and I'll post it and let everybody know. Like a lot of people have, like the Crosshair, the Rex. I the will Rampart. say, can I be very very honest with you? Your graphics are stunning, so keep that up. Yeah, the, the thing is, when I when I well, if, to be honest, the first why I started this was because of you Troy. It was you. It was you. Uh, win or lose was mm. both of you, and after and I was like, mm, maybe I could do something. I, I'm big in Star Wars Black Series. I know you have your Marvel's Legends, and mm -hmm. you do collect Black Series. So I'm like. Uh, maybe I'll give it a try if Troy could do it. You got, I think you started last year. Yeah, I started I in 2020. Yeah. Honestly, I've been giving you a lot of space to do your Star Wars. I just kind of stopped. I've been I'm, like tomorrow, yeah. I'll post those pictures for uh, Ahsoka and the Death Watch Mando. But yeah. for me, like, honestly, like, just you do Star Wars, you keep it, you kill it. Yeah. 
kill it with what you're doing because like for me it's like i'm falling out of love with a little bit of star wars and i'll post it when i post it so honestly you've been doing such a great job so please go follow my friend he's been doing amazing um thank you i feel (laughs) feel it was it it was uh, i'm not making a lie it was it was you and when you lose, we're the ones that started that made me want to start my channel. And your graphics and, are really nice. I'm looking at your page now. It's like really his graphics cool. are yeah. really good, right? I mean, well, the, the, the funny part was um, I made them designs. So when I think it was Hasbro, was that? No, yeah, Has oh no, Hasbro Pulse Con. Mm-hmm. I made them uh, shop Disney's once about two weeks, three weeks, and I wasn't even going to post them because I'm like. Uh, shop disney a lot of people they even to shop disney like i did the math it's 74.99 us plus 31 not 49 for shipping crazy and to (laughs) change that to canadian was almost 140. crazy i i just want the droids pack and i just cannot yeah that 74 74 yeah i'll pass on that but Anyways, plug yourself one more time. Uh, uh, Great White North, at Great White North on Instagram. Uh, if you got any news in Canada or anything to share, always DM me. I always respond quickly as I can. But, yeah. Awesome. And my friend, go right ahead. You have the floor. Myself, um, at Action, F-I-G-Y, Skinny, like Feige, but Figgy. I couldn't secure the second G, early days, Instagram. You know what it is. Um, My channel more or less about just good times and giving people the experience of getting to unbox things. Some people don't have things to unbox, so I'm the guy for you. More now turning into a like fig news channel with reviews and so on. I started about five years ago. I did it because my other Instagram in which I do music and such, people didn't want to see me play with toys. So I made a new Instagram. Here I am five years later. And uh, it's been going good. Met a lot of cool people along the way. A lot more Canadians than I thought are doing this, which when I was coming up, you mentioned Shardimus. I came up under watching Plastic Attic and Mike the Hunter and Shardimus and Boog. And then I found all the Canadian folks that were doing it. And I was like, okay, cool. So I'm not a weirdo. This is amazing. So mm-hmm. the three of us are reasons for anybody out there that are Canadian and or American that wants to start doing this. Do it. Do it. Like yeah. toys. Yeah. Start an IG. Start your own YouTube channel. You will find people that just love you for you. And it's a reason to do it. So. What my biggest goal for 2022 is not even for me. I want to see you, Great White North, get over a thousand followers. Like that's what I want to see. Like, I'm with that. Let's go. Like I'm with that, Let's yeah. get you hitting those numbers. Like yeah. great. Like honestly, you send me your post, I'll repost it all the time. Honestly, that's how we built a community, and that's what yeah. we're gonna do. And honestly, I love what you guys are doing. Keep doing it. You guys are amazing. Thank you guys. But anything else, Akil? um anything else in the private chat hold on let me check (laughs) absolutely not no and and i just like to say thank you everyone for the comments because you guys are hilarious bearded bills torrensu you know (laughs) quinn fly zone all y'all i mean thank you because yeah jake 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 Jake. (laughs) honestly i like you guys are great honestly again you guys come to my stream anytime I really appreciate you guys a lot. Um, Finding the toy community has made me broke. Sorry, guys. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I mean, it's true. It is. Yeah. Um, so just a little bit about me. I am at Troy Collects Toys right over there. You can find me on Instagram. Um, honestly, I really appreciate everyone who stopped by this live stream. Um, I thought this was a little bit, a lot better than last week because we had a little bit of a schedule and Honestly, tell me what you like. DM me. I want to hear from you guys. I really appreciate it. There's no giveaways today. Um, uh, just want to get those two giveaways out before I do another giveaway. <laughs> but next week, maybe. Um, I have a whole bunch of stuff I want to do. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys, both of you guys, for coming to join me. Please follow me, Great White North Empire, and Action Ficky Skinny. So, again, thank you guys so much. Please blow up our social medias because we love it. And I'll see you guys next week, hopefully at 9 o'clock next week, not 9.30. Sorry about that. It's driving <laughs> down the highway really fast to get here. But 
but we'll do that. So more unboxing. I apologize. I only, only unboxed one figure, uh, <laughs> and that's all. But again, let's wrap it up. Thank you guys. See you guys next week. Bye.